Good morning and welcome to Daily Connections with Pastor Scott. Trust that your morning is starting off well and it is good to be with you today and I'm going to share with you um, today a passage of scripture from Colossians chapter 1 verses 9 and 10. This is the the salutation, uh, the greeting portion of the letter that Paul writes uh, to the Christians in Colossae. And I love what he says here in verse 9 and 10. Paul writes, for this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the wisdom of his will through all wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please Him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. I love uh, what Paul says here in the text, and he, he says something to this effect, typically, in all the letters that he writes to the various churches that we have in the New Testament, one of the first things he always does is he reminds them that yes, he is praying for these Christians to whom he is ministering to and how important it is that we continue to pray for one another. I covet your prayers and if there's uh, any way that we can pray for you as a church, I would encourage you to reach out and let me know. We have a prayer group uh, that meets every morning on Tuesday mornings at 10 o'clock, and I'll be going to that in just a moment. Uh, so how can we pray for you? But Paul tells the church he is praying for them, and, and, and what he is praying for primarily is that they would live a life that is worthy of the Lord and live a life that would please God in every kind of way. Praying for our day-to-day -day needs is very important. Jesus tells us to uh, pray for our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. To pray for our daily needs our physical needs and what have you. Uh, but as important as that is, the most important thing that we can pray for personally and the most important thing that we can pray for in the lives of other people is that they would come to know Christ and that they would live a life that is worthy of the Lord. So let that be your prayer today. Uh, let that be my prayer that God would strengthen us through his spirit and enable us and empower us to live a life that is worthy of the Lord and pleasing unto God in every kind of way. Let us pray for grace and strength to do this and let us pray for mercy when we fall short because we do fall short. Blessings on your morning and I will see you tomorrow.